All right, Lady Ada, what is this? Hey, Happy New Year. This is a design that actually I did a while ago and I made a mistake. I accidentally placed a like 100 ohm resistor instead of 100 K resistor. Um, so these were remade and repaired. So this is a TPS 61040, which is a little boost converter I use for OLED boards to generate the 12 volt bias. Uh, and I thought it would be nice as a little breakout board so you can just give it like two to six volts and it'll give you 12 volts at like, you know, 40, 50 milliamps or so. So not enough to like drive a ton of LEDs, but enough just to kind of like Oh, you know, I have a 3.3 volt logic thing. I need 12 volts. So this is the tester. I've got a little load uh, switch, 120 ohms and a resistor divider. And then I just use this uh, Arduino code to test it and it's passing. So we're going to get this into the shop real soon. All right, Lady what is this? This is the 3.5 inch 480 by 320 TFT capacitive touch feather wing. And last we checked, uh, I had to revise this because see this bar PCB uh, it's in the way because it's uh, squishing the capacitive touch chip. So revision B came out and then I pulled this down a bit. Uh, so now you see there's plenty of clearance. Uh, this just goes, this is what just came down basically like a tenth of an inch. Uh, but now this is good to go. And I wrote the final test for this, which reads from the SD card. And then uh, you can do a little touch check here. And it's multi-touch. So you see you can have up to five fingers at the same time. Um, so there's a little bit more gap here, but otherwise this is good to go. So I'm going to book this uh, board and then you can plug in any feather and get like a really beautiful capacitive touch display with 480 by 320 pixels. So coming soon. Very early data was this. This is a tester for the TS USB 30 breakout I made. So this is at one to two mux. So basically you have USB host here or here, you know, breakout or USB-C. And then you can select with the S pin, whether you're connected to port two or port one. So you can basically have one hardware connector and then two electrical connections. So you can swap between two devices on, you know, one USB connection, which is kind of neat. It's not a hub, it's a switch. So you do one or the other. And here's a little tester. So what I did is I have, this is like a FTDI cable and then I also have like a Metro with a uh, different FTDI chip. And then this is the USB port connection um, that goes to here. And this is an RP2040, which we have native USB host support. So when you plug it in, it does an enumeration check and it uh, you know verifies. You can even see it's resetting the board. Uh, but this works, so you can switch between the two. And it's going to be in the store real soon. All right, Lady, what is this? This is um, a tester that I made, uh, the new one for the Max 3421E. We actually had a tester I showed off earlier, which uses a ESP32 S2 TFT. But now, uh, you know, I like using a Metro style tester. So this is a um, M0 because I need something that's teeny USB support. And then what I do is I plug in this FTDI cable. So this will enumerate as an FTD, FTDI device. And then um, I plug it in and I reset the board and it will check that enumeration uh, completed and it finds the FTDI chip and that means the USB works and all the pins work. Uh, you can also see I'm testing uh, five volt on and off selection. Uh, but this is good. So this is just an easier tester than the uh, display based one. So it's a little bit more automated. So this is uh, ready to be updated and I can recycle that old tester for something else. All right, Lady Ada, what's this? This is a Feather NRF52840 jam packed with sensors. We've got RGB and light and humidity and temperature and a neopixel and gyro and accelerometer, magnetometer and PDM microphone. And I don't know, all sorts of stuff. Uh, some SBI flash here. And then, uh, you know, of course, a blue fruit chip that can run Arduino or CircuitPython. So this is the Feather Sense, which has been out of stock for like many years due to part shortages. Um, but I just redesigned it to use all parts I can get. And then I'm also updating the tester so we can get these back in stock. Um, so the tester has been Picoified. So used to be with the TNC36, but the TNC36 is unavailable because the chip is no longer being manufactured. Uh, so it's got updated to use the NRF52840, uh, sorry, the uh, RP2040. Uh, it does program over SWD. It does take a while because it's a really big demo program that like tests all the sensors. But then, hold on, I have to, yeah, there you go. Tester complete in about 22 seconds. Uh, it tests all the sensors and it's ready to go. So we'll get this back into the shop real soon. All right, Lady Data, what is this? You might say, hey, you should get a clue, but you should get two clues. And yeah. this is actually a revision. So this one, you see here, it's got this square LSM6DS33 that got discontinued. So this is the LSM6 
6DS3TR, which is very similar but not quite identical gyro accelerometer. So I revised this board uh, to now use this part, and pretty much all the other components are the same as I think the flash chip also changed. And then I updated the test software. So this is the old test program. This is the original clue that's in the store. Passes tests, good to go. And then this is the new version with the updated code that now looks for the LSM DSTR also passes tests. So both are good. Uh, this is revision. I'm going to order it and we'll get it into the store. It's been out of stock for quite a while. So I'm very excited to see this product back in stock. We were clueless. Now we're not. Yes. <laughs> All right. And then uh, here's a couple designs that yeah. uh, you were showing me. What are the? This is, well, this is one design, just two renderings, but this is a, like a cutie pie BFF, but it's for DC power. So there's a, a, a DC a 2.1 millimeter barrel jack or terminal blocks. And there's an NPM 36110, which we have a breakout for. It's a really nice little buck converter. So up to 20 volts input, it'll bucket down to five volts, like one amp. Um, and it's a perfect little converter. And honestly, we bought a wheel of them. I gotta get through them. So this is, yeah. okay. this is the board that'll let me uh, get through those chips. That's absolutely great. <laughs>